In my great stash of artifacts, I have before you, and perhaps you can see this, it is a bracelet. Now it's pretty well turned green. It's very old. It's about 2,000 years old. It comes from the Roman era. And it's a slave bracelet. It marks someone who was a slave in a household. It would be clamped on their arm, not on my arm, uh, <coughs> for some reason. It would be clamped on their arm, and everybody in the community knew that this was a slave. And most likely, in most communities, they knew to whom the slave belonged as well. They wore this bracelet until the day they died. Or else, if they were freed, the bracelet was removed from their arm. You know, my friends, we are told in Scripture that we are slaves as well. Apart from God, the Apostle Paul tells us that we are slaves to sin. And, but he says something more, that when we then come to know Jesus Christ, then he says in Romans, but God be thanked that though you were slaves of sin, wearing the bracelet of sin, yet you obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine to which you were delivered, and having been set free from sin, all through Jesus Christ, you became slaves of righteousness. Isn't that amazing how quickly, as a one who is a slave to sin, but when Christ enters the picture, that slave bracelet turns into a halo, we're a slave to righteousness. That means we're also going to serve him. We're bound to serve him in, as, in good ways as we reach out with his love to other people. My friends, you are not a slave to sin. You have been freed by Christ. You're a slave to righteousness, a servant of Christ. Show forth his love. God's peace.